Fritz Klingenberg was born in 1912 in the small town of Rovershagen, Germany. After a while, Fritz grew up and decided to go to college, but he dropped out, so he joined the Nazis instead. In 1939, war broke out, and Klingenberg fought as part of the Kratzschützen, or motorcycle infantry. He was a pretty average soldier until his actions in France which earned him the Iron Cross. In 1940, he single-handedly destroyed three French machine gun positions. After that, he stopped a French counterattack by calling in artillery on his own position. Man, was Indiana Jones lucky that none of these people were Fritz Klimpenberg. By April 1941, Fritz had already become a captain in the German army. Now, he was leading a small motorcycle reconnaissance team into Yugoslavia. The enemy offered barely any resistance, so at some point, Fritz decided that he's going to take the capital of Yugoslavia, Belgrade. When they reached the River Danube, which is actually way bigger than on this picture, they found the boat and crossed. However, when the boat was going back for more men, it sank, leaving Fritz with only five. Fritz did it. He reached the Belgrade. He fought off the Yugoslavians until he reached the German embassy. He then ordered a swastika flag to be raised to symbolize his victory. After two hours, the town mayor came and surrendered, believing the rest of the Wehrmacht was close behind. Plus, Fritz threatened to order the Luftwaffe to flatten Belgrade. He locked up the 1,300 defenders in four hotels, with one guard in each. That's a 325 to 1 ratio. The, the German army must have been really surprised when they reached Belgrade the next day. After that, Klingenberg continued to serve in the Wehrmacht on the Eastern Front. He even managed to reach the suburbs of Moscow. Unfortunately for him, however, he was killed in 1945. It was the Battle of the Bulge, and he was bravely leading his troops. But then a Sherman fired an HE round, and he was dead. Although there were other awesome historical figures, including, but not limited to, Audi Murphy, Charles Upham, and Otto Scarenzi, none of them come even close. Go conquer China on a motorcycle. Then I'll make a video about you as well.